Hey guys, this is Hakobo coming at you with a video tutorial um, on modeling a sword. Um, I was modeling this for part of a music video I'm making and I figured, hey, this would be a good way to teach some principles and I've made a lot of tutorials before where I talk about concepts and other things but I figured it'd be cool to do something kind of from start to finish um, so if you follow along you can actually have a finished product in the end and I'll try to cover a lot of topics but anyway let me get started because I know your time is precious and I don't want to waste it anyways so I've got my main view set up and I want to import some reference footage I just grabbed an image off Google um, it's not my sword's not going to be exactly like this but it'll just get sort of the general shape and look of it so let me, let me go to image plane and import image let's see I mean, it's just that hit open and it'll show up in this view I did the front that's the view that I wanted in but I don't want it appearing in this view so I'm going to just do looking through camera only um, and oh yeah let me just say that I will be texturing it and doing a final render so it's modeling primarily but it will also have other things too anyways I've created my own shelf called stuff I use things I use a lot um, got delete history center pivot um, if you want to make your own shelf um, you go new shelf and then from there you can go over and hit the control and shift key to add anything to your shelf so I'll probably be accessing these fairly often and um, I'll try to show where they're located also mainly it'll be in the polygon menu but I might forget because I almost always just use it straight from this menu it's fast, it's quick, it's easy anyways I'm just going to create the default cube I'm going to hit 5 to make it smooth shaded and I'm going to go in, I'm going to hit the E key and rotate this now I'm going to move this into place rotate it a bit and scale it and I'm not going to mess with faces or vertices at this point and the reason why is um, I can access the inputs and sort of add in some geometry that I want I mean it's not terrible if you do but I'm just going to only use the scale move and rotate right now I can move this down that's kind of part of the other part and rotation looks pretty good um, and move that in okay now I can see there's going to be kind of a groove right here let me scale this down a bit that's a little large kind of a groove right here right in the middle um, and you can see I'm in wireframe just for getting the setup so I can see completely through it I think I'm going to switch um, from my shading to x-ray and this is sort of a combination of the two you can kind of uh, it's um, somewhat see-through um, but you can also, also can see where it's at anyways so now since I haven't mess with vertices, faces, any of that, it'll freak out if you do. I can go over to this right one over here, go to inputs menu, and let me see, I probably just want, um, trying to think, so you click on this and then um, you middle mouse, go over here and middle mouse button, um, so I'm trying to think where I want probably want two in the depth maybe th actually th three you can also just type this in and I'll want three of those alright now I'm gonna start editing that so I'm gonna go to edge and move this into where the div will be I'm double clicking so I select the entire edge I'm gonna go back out to this view and now I've got that on both the sides. I'm going to right click and hit face, select this, and select this. Now I'm going to go over to the extrude um, 
yeah, mesh, edit mesh, extrude. You have your options here. Um, and if you're extruding along a curve or something, or even out a bit, you can set this up. But often you want it set to just one extrusion. I'm going to start moving it in. I'm actually, I don't have a side thing, I'm just guesstimating for this, but I'm trying to think how thick a sword would be. I'm going to move this in a bit because that would affect how far it's going in. That looks pretty good right there. Anyways, right click, face, and face. Then I'll hit the extrude. I'm just going to, you want to do the blue one. If I and if I move it in, um, so I kind of want a sort of a circular curve. So I'm gonna zoom in here, hitting the space key to go just to this view, moving it in. Um, G again, and a little bit more, and extrude that in a bit. G to repeat the command. Um, And just starting to bring that in. Now I often, what's really nice you for undos, it undoes selections too. So I often go out, kind of look at that. That looks pretty good. I might want to do one more. So I can do undo, undo, and now I have the whole thing selected. Um, so it's, it often can be helpful to sort of hit the G key. Look at it without the things selected. Um, Let's bring this in a lot. Now I'll go object mode. Alright, that looks pretty good. And it's identical on both sides since I was extruding in, even though they're opposite. Um, now I can just go into here. And I'll probably just do an extrude on this. And these faces. Um, it might have been wise before I add in the geometry to extrude these in because sometimes you can run into trouble. Let me just see how this is. Yeah, trouble with that. Um, one thing I'm going to try is turning it off of that and extruding it in. Now I can bring them all into the center. And that looks pretty good to me. Yeah, not bad looking. Um, I'm going to go to shading um, and turn off x-ray. So I just have that right there. Now I'm going to try to do a handle. And I'll probably do something slightly different than this. But I think this will really exemplify how you can use the smooth mesh preview to really work well for you. Um, so what I'm going to do, just take a cube. Um, one little trick you can use, I'm just going to look here, rotate Z, negative 37. I can type that in, negative 37. And they'll have just about the exact same rotation as one another. I'm going to bring this over, just scaling it really quick. Um, and I'll probably start it at the handle and kind of extrude down. And looking at it, I want it out a bit more. I want it to be a, a square. Uh, I can type in 1.71. And that looks pretty good to me. Um, now, I think I'm just going to, I could do this with extruding, but I think I'm just going to move this up larger. Um, I can, um, you generally want to use these three unless you're directly in a move because I know I'm just moving in these two directions. If I'm clicking on the middle and moving it around here, they, you can get really lost. Um, like it looks, maybe that looks over top of it, but it's not at all. So the only time I really use the middle is when I'm in these views. I'm going to switch to wireframe and go over to my... Um, split edge ring tool. Uh, let me see. Um, insert edge loop tool is also called. Um, click on that.